Hi Virgos, this is your June 2019 love and relationship reading. Now the first message card I have for you was a jumping card and it is walking away. So I'm feeling like from the very beginning of your reading, some of you have either threatened to walk away from a relationship or a marriage or you walked away, okay? Um, there was something that was going on for quite some time, I'm feeling like, and you just turned your back on it or someone turned their back on you, okay? Now, the next card that I have for you is Awakening. You have Lessons. And I pulled some extra cards for you guys because your reading is late. I apologize. Um, so you have Patience. So you have Awakening, Lessons, Patience, Shadow Work. So you have some good cards here, Virgos. I feel like something is trying to turn around for you. Just looking at the cards here. But I'm feeling like whatever it is that's trying to turn around for you is because you're putting your foot down or you're doing something different from what you've been doing um, or you're just not taking somebody's crap anymore because you have new direction also. You have compromise, separation in reverse, and understanding in the reverse. So just looking at these cards... Um, with the awakening, I feel like somebody is going to get the point, okay? Somebody's going to get what you're trying to say, what you're trying to relate to them. Um, there are some lessons that's going to be learned in this situation. If someone walked away from you or you, them, whatever the situation was that caused either person to walk away, I feel like somebody is learning something behind that. So have some patience here. Um, I know some of you probably like, I have patience. I've been having patience and things haven't been turning around. But the universe is telling you to practice patience this month into next month. Because I'm feeling like somebody is going to do the necessary work to fix the relationship. Or they're going to attempt or try or put some effort in. Because the shadow work is here. And this is like somebody not being able to run away from their issues and their problems anymore. It's like they're going to look at the part that they played in the situation. Try to assess it. And try to put in effort to make things better. You also have awakening here. So I'm feeling like um, even though somebody's back is still turned here. This could be you or your partner Virgo. But I'm feeling like the obstacles are being removed. They're starting to see things more clearer. If they haven't yet, they will. Um, if it was like a third party or someone else in the mix, they may even be releasing this person or just not communicating with this person as much as they were before because they may have felt like it was causing an issue between you and them. Um, I see the dark clouds are going to be lifting. I just see someone's going to be looking at the their love life from a different perspective. So this could be your partner looking at you you guys situation as a whole from a different perspective or this could be you waking up to something um not letting someone take advantage or um just run in and out of your life anymore but i'm feeling like by you doing that somebody's going to learn a lesson about how things should be done and with this patience card being here i feel like there's some changes that are coming about because you have the new direction card so it's like someone leaving everything behind so this could be you leaving somebody behind but then them getting the message because you're doing that um because you see that there's a light here and then there's dark clouds being lifted so it's like now you see where you need to go and what you need to do concerning this situation and things are not stagnant anymore when it comes to um how you're thinking or how you're looking at it mentally it's like you've had some clarification on something i feel like somebody is clear now on where they want to be and what they want to do and even though things weren't working out between you and this person it was because you wasn't putting your foot down. But I feel like you are now. For some of you, I feel like you just put your foot down and like things are going to start to change. Because that's all this person needed to see is that you're not going to stay around and put up with them either running in and out of your life or cheating on you. So I feel like somebody's going to come back to compromise too as well. Because we have the compromise card, we have separation and reverse, and then we have understanding and reverse. So with these three cards being here, somebody's going to come, a bit, somebody's going to come back and want to compromise for one if they walked away or if you guys are just not speaking you're not on good terms um you're not seeing eye to eye right now somebody's gonna come back in or they're gonna contact you 
but we have separation in reverse and understanding. I feel like this whole situation is the way it is because this person feels like they feel a need for you to understand them or get where they're coming from or they feel like you don't. So if someone's separated from you or they're just not talking to you, they're not communicating with you and you don't know why, this person may feel like you don't get them. And they may feel like you guys argue a lot and you're not seeing their point of view. You could even feel like this about your partner if they're cross. I mean, you could feel like this about them or they could feel like this about you if they're cross watching Virgo. But somebody feels like somebody doesn't get it. Like there's a need. I feel like there's a need for com communication and conversation here between you and your partner so that you guys can discuss what you really need and want and expect from each other. But the, if there's a breakup, for some of you, I feel like it's temporary because the separation card is in reverse here. All right. So let's just get into your reading because you do have two other jumping cards from the tarot deck. One moment. Let me just put these over here in case I need to refer back to them. All right. So, yeah, like the two cards that jumped for you was the Wheel of Fortune and the Ten of Wands in reverse. So this is like coming out of a burden um things finally coming together for you and this person with the will of fortune it's like they're seeing something your way or you seeing something their way but when the will of fortune comes into play it's like um fate destiny this will is starting to turn where it may have been sitting still and things may have been stagnant now the will is turning so things are starting to move but i'm feeling like things are moving in your direction if this is you feeling this way if not if this is your partner feeling this way maybe it's moving in their direction but something is starting to move so it's like they're starting to get it but i'm feeling like they're starting to get it because maybe you've turned your back on them or maybe you stop communicating with them. Because um, the Wheel of Fortune is in the upright and the Ten of Wands is in the reverse. So this is like something was a burden to you with this person. The relationship or the marriage or the situation of friendship or whatever it was. Take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Because everybody's situation is going to be different here. But the Wheel of Fortune is saying that there's some changes coming. So where you may be thinking that something can't work and things are over and done with there's changes coming and for some of you this could also be money with the will of fortune here so maybe you're waiting for money to come in or you're thinking that you're not going to get money uh, maybe a loan for a home or a car loan or a school loan but with the will of fortune being here like something's going to come in for you like a burden is going to be lifted with the ten of wands in reverse all right so i'll just put these over here in case i need to refer back to them and let's get into your reading the tower is the first card that you have you have the high priestess and you have the king of swords so some of you are dealing with an air sign libra gemini or an aquarius and there was a tower moment here some chaos destruction things got turned upside down but i'm feeling like the tower has now fallen so whatever took place here it's like it happened already and now it's time to rebuild because I feel like things came crashing down between you and somebody. But it had to do with secrets. So somebody may have been keeping secrets. Maybe you found out about the secrets. And you brought it to the forefront. And then you stood your ground. Because you have the king of swords here. So this is sort of like a no-nonsense type of energy coming from you or your partner. So this could be vice versa. Um... And this may not be for everyone because this is a general reading. So take what resonates with you and leave the rest. But there was a tower moment here. I'm feeling like it was due to secrets. And then with the King of Swords being here, it's like you stood your ground with the situation and you just was like, I'm not taking anybody else's nonsense. So I'm not dealing with this. And you may have either cut someone off or someone cut you off. All right, so you have the devil. You have the Knight of Wands in the reverse. And you have the Judgment card here. So yeah, there's going to be a second chance for you guys to work this out with somebody. Um, some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn because you have the Devil card here. So we have Capricorn energy here. We have the Knight of Wands, Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Um, 
I'm just feeling like if you're not dealing with the Capricorn Virgo, that there was a lot of unhealthy, toxic energy going on here. Addictions, temptations, arguments, uh, just petty, like communication back and forth between you and someone. I'm feeling like you was either texting someone back and forth and there were a lot of things that were said that was really petty or maybe someone did this to you. And it was because this person was running in and out of your life and you were trying to actually get them to settle down. But I'm feeling like it just escalated because the tower card was is here. So there may have been an argument that escalated out of control here. But then from that comes judgment. So it's like just when you think things are over and there's nothing else to become of the situation... There's rebirth and resurrection. Okay, so there's a chance for you guys to get back on track here. You also have the hangman. You have the ten of swords here. And you have the nine of wands. So, things are stagnant. You know, something's not moving forward the way you want. And you were feeling taken advantage of with this ten of swords here taken advantage of uh betrayed stabbed in the back maybe you know you were doing a lot for this partner or doing a lot for this um relationship or marriage and you just felt like you know you were meeting someone else's needs but they weren't meeting yours and now your guard is up with this nine of wands here so now it's like you're in the energy of I'm going to look out for myself. I'm not going to look out for this person anymore. But now I feel like once you take on that energy, this person is going to start to get it. Because you have the three of swords here in the reverse. You have the ace of wands. And you have the three of pentacles. Yeah, so you're going to be coming out of heartbreak sadness with this three of swords. And you're going to be taking action because you have the ace of wands here so this is someone who's like putting their foot down they're taking action they're moving forward and you know you have the three of pentacles here i'm like it's going to work out to your advantage when you do that but you know maybe you did not want to react this way so however this unfolded virgos i'm just feeling like it was if it, it unfolded in a way that you didn't really want to act this way but you felt like you had to and now you're going to see that like oh this is all i had to do like all this time to get this person to act right so you have the seven of swords here. You have the chariot in reverse. And you have the six of wands in reverse. So yeah, something wasn't moving forward for you with the chariot in reverse and the six of wands. It's like you weren't getting a victory with this situation because someone was either being someone was being sneaky. They were like sneaking off. Um with the chariot card here, you could have been dealing with the cancer. We also have fire energy, Aries Leo Sagittarius. Um and we have swords, Aries, Leo, I mean, I'm sorry, Aries, I'm um, not Aries, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have the um, seven of swords here, but I'm feeling like some of you could have been dealing with a Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius here. We have cancer energy, and then we also have fire energy. So whatever the sign was, somebody was being sneaky, definitely, somebody, or somebody was just keeping their feelings to themselves, and you were like, you know, listen, if you want to be stubborn, I'm going to be stubborn too, so, you know, nothing's going to move if we're both being stubborn, because this is what I see here, nothing moving, with the chariot card in reverse, and the six of wands in reverse, that's not getting the victory in what you want here, so you have the two of cups, okay, so there is love here, some of you could be dealing with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. And there's a lot of love between you guys. You may see this person as your soulmate, um, somebody that you just can't walk away from. Because you did have the devil card here. For those of you that are not dealing with the Capricorn um, and you're dealing with any other sign, you have the devil card here. So it's like some type of attachment that you have to someone. And you may see this person as your soulmate with the two of cups being here. And it's like, you're just not ready to walk away from them. So I feel like if you did walk away, that either you're going to come back or somebody's going to come back because somebody's going to get the picture. It's like, I finally get the picture. I know what you want. I know what you need. And let's try to work on this. It's like, some, yeah, somebody's going to put the effort in because the Hierophant is in the up right here. We have Taurus energy as well. So some of you could be dealing with the Taurus. And we have the Two of Pentacles. So it's like, if this person was juggling how they felt or if they was juggling you and somebody else, they're now 
if they haven't come back yet virgo it's like they will and it's like now they want to act upon the traditional roles of a relationship because i'm feeling like before this person wasn't it was like they were making their own rules and regulations as to how they wanted things to go and that just was a no-go for you so you have the world card here you have the five of wands and you have the lovers some of you could have been dealing with the gemini definitely with the lovers being here if not you were waiting for someone to make a decision and that's where the conflict was coming from and i'm feeling like you know you you may have felt like i have no choice but to end this with the world card being here but even though some of you may have ended it or maybe your thoughts were to end it i'm feeling like you're gonna start things back up or this person's gonna um try to start things back up with you i just hear like text messaging or something coming across here we have the five of cups so things i mean you're not gonna let it go easily though because the five of cups is here so you're still not over the situation because there were secrets involved here and i'm feeling like that's the main thing with you even though you have the star card so some of you could have been dealing with an aquarius and we have pisces here so you feel like your main issue if you weren't dealing with a pisces or an aquarius your main issue here is you know with the five of cups because this is not being able to get over something virgo your main issue is this person had a lot of secrets and even though your wish fulfillment is to be with them and to make this relationship work i'm feeling like there's something that happened here that you can't get over you're struggling to move past it with the five of cups here All right, so you have the strength card in the reverse. You have the temperance. And you have the, wow, and you have the death card here. So let me just look at this for a minute. Okay, so I see Leo. Leo, Sagittarius, and Scorpio for some of you. And if you're not dealing with either one of those signs, it's like you don't have the strength to deal with this person anymore. It's like you're trying to balance out your life and you may have ended it with them or maybe they ended it with you or maybe you're just like you know what let's just end this and i can move on you can move on but i'm feeling like by you taking on that attitude it's going to spark a change in your partner i feel like some of you are dealing with the leo with the strength card in reverse and you just can't make it work and this person makes you happy but you're unhappy right now because they're not acting right so it's like some of you love someone like so much uh they could be a leo with the strength card being here in reverse but you just can't seem to make things right with this person but somebody's going to get it because you have the fool card here so you're going to take a leap of faith with this person even if you walked away or even if they walked away from you it could you know time is fluid energy is fluid like if it was months ago it could have been a year ago you know, somebody's going to come back around and get the situation. It could be because this person's going to wake up because you do have the awakening card over here. Maybe they walked off to someone else and they're going to get it. They're going to learn their lesson. Maybe they're going to think the grass is greener on the other side until they finally see that it's not. But it took for you to put your foot down in order for them to realize something, Virgos. So those are the messages that I have for your love and relationship reading. I just want to say thank you for coming to my channel. Thank you for watching my videos. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are going through. I do read all of your comments. Also, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at My Cards Never Lie Tarot. Um, I'm also on Instant Go. So if you have a question and you want to reach out to me there, you can do so. And I will see you guys next month. Bye.